Hey, did I show this? A uh, 2009 G650 BMW GS. If you have one that has ABS and or hazards, you'll be familiar with that little bracket they had over the handlebars. Those uh, original studs there. The problem is, having that in there prevents the use of most risers, other than the little block risers. And it certainly prevents you from using rocks risers, such as these. So, I actually think I want to replace those bolts, which these are the funky bolts that originally came with it. They have a thread spot in the top for threading in that bracket there. So I guess it's kind of a convenient location for the manufacturer, but ends up being a problem if you want to change anything. So, what's the solution to this? Re relocating them is easy idea, but getting it done is a little bit hard. I went around various ideas of cutting the switches out and replacing them, and strangely enough, it's not the ABS switch, it's the hazard switch that is a problem to deal with. So here's how we dealt with it. I got this hint off of a guy on a forum. There's uh, this little bracket here and this housing. Um, it's, I forget the model number, it is a bracket for the police model of this bike for their extra switches and the switch housing is exactly the same. These are the original switches here that were in the other bracket. Uh, all you have to do is disconnect them. You do have to lengthen the wires a little bit. Um, then this mounts on the mirror post. Uh, and we have some extender things here, but it doesn't matter. It just fits right under the mirror post. And uh, they have a left and right hand side one. So you could bend it up pretty much any way you want as it's a piece of metal. But it fits pretty good if you have a tank bag. It might get in the way of the tank bag, but since you don't use them all that much, you don't really need them right at hand. They are kind of at hand. Um, at any rate, the big part is it's just that. It's a nice, clean-looking housing for the thing to be installed to. Unfortunately, the dealer I had to do the work on it. I ordered this part, which is not bad prices, this part and this part, by the way. But they were kind of schmucks. They did not cleanly run the cables. You know, when they extended them, they didn't extend them long enough to tuck it uh, sort of back this way and maybe zip tie it off or something, just so it looks a little cleaner. They basically left this rat's nest. They were also supposed to extend everything else is required to keep it nicely tucked and they basically did not um, <clears throat> so the dealer did or the mechanic that worked at the dealer I'm not sure the dealer itself is evil but the mechanic was a schmo and uh, and he did sort of a choppy job on it and uh, you know when you're paying BMW dealer rates you just expect better not to mention Let's see, we had him replace the handlebar, because the handlebar was bent at the same time. And uh, do some work on the master cylinder, rear master cylinder, and put in a Scots oiler. However, the bark busters were loose. Uh, these were completely loose. Uh, and the bolts were in the wrong side, so that they didn't uh, intersect the nylock nuts that are on the back of it. Uh, so those would have vibrated right out. Um, they clearly never uh, rode it because the this whole housing was that way too far, jamming into the end here, and you couldn't get the throttle to roll back. You had to actually push it quite hard to get it to go back. Now I've fixed that. I've fixed the bark busters. Seems like there was something else I had to fix. Oh, that's right. The throttle cable was not routed well. I re-shimmied it around and moved it around and, and uh, zip-tied it and things like that. Uh, I also had to cut a lot of their zip-ties and rearrange and reroute things without having to cut wires because they 
when they did it, they had the rocks risers forward and they made it fit that, which is specifically what I asked them not to do. I specifically asked them to roll them way back and roll the handlebars way back because uh, my girl is short and this is my girl's bike. So at any rate, uh, I'm just really irritated with the dealer I took it to. Um, not to mention little fit and finish issues, which all those things are little fit and finish issues. Almost every nut or bolt was loose or way too tight. They are supposed to replace this clutch cable, which they did. And then they used the old boot on there, which, is, which they tore in the process of putting it on. I mean, really? Come on, did I have to tell you to replace the boot? So, kind of infuriating there. Um, but other than that, the idea of relocating the switches worked really well. It's got the rocks risers in line. Like I said, the only thing left is to replace. They use the original bolts in there. And uh, if I replace those or sand them down a little bit on the back side, I'm not sure if I can show you from here. Let's see if we can get it to focus on it. As you can see down up under here, the rocks riser actually hits the bolt, touches the bolt head, which is real proud. It's, it's up real tall normally to have that bracket on there. So that's, uh, it limits how far back the rocks riser will go. Um, so at any rate, I could sand or grind on it a little bit or on the very bottom of the rocks riser just a little bit. It would allow it more freedom, but she likes it where it's at for now. So at any rate, there you go. Uh, a solution to where to reroute your switches if you have one of these. Alright, yep.